Nope, you don't need a green screen. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to remove backgrounds from inside your Canva for Education account. And I'm also going to show you how to put yourself or your subject in front of amazing backgrounds from around the world or just about any context you can imagine, thanks to the amazing Canva stock library. Let's get into it. Our first step after logging into canva.com is to open a blank canvas of just about any size. One of my favorite sizes is a YouTube thumbnail. So that's what I'm going to type into the white search box and let's go. Once I get here, I'm just going to create a blank YouTube thumbnail. As soon as this screen opens up, I'm going to see a list of templates available to me, but I'm going to ignore those because that's not my focus right now. Instead, I want to go to my uploads. You'll find uploads in the left side menu. And once you're here, you can open up any image that you've got stored on your local drive or device. I've already uploaded a picture of me with my handsome brother, Andrew. So let's bring that into the canvas. Right away, we've got this image. Andrew is considerably taller and more handsome and has more hair than me. So make of that what you will. But there you go. Andrew, you are starring in this video. The next place I'm going to go is edit photo. And here is where we're going to start the magic. I'm going to click on BG remover and watch how fast this is. That's all the time it took. I did not fast forward the tape. The background has been removed. Now I want to show you the part that no one else mentions. And that is we can put me and my brother in front of just about any context that you can imagine. So let's try a few fun ones together. To load up the amazing Canva image stock library, I'm going to go over to Elements and hit the white search window. Let's start with the Roman Colosseum. Right away, you can see graphics, photos, and videos. Our interest is in the photos. There are so many choices here. I really don't know which one to choose. Let's go ahead and put us in front of this one. All I need to do is stretch out the photo, make it fill the canvas a little bit better. Remember, I chose a landscape frame the size of a YouTube thumbnail, so it's going to fit a phone or a TV screen or a laptop screen particularly well. Then I'm going to go to position and send it to the back. There we are. We're right in front of the Roman Colosseum and I can drop us down just a little bit in order to make that seem a little more natural. The lighting isn't perfect, but it's still fun. You get the idea. Now let's put us in Vancouver where I teach every day. Back in the white search window, I'm going to type in Vancouver. And again, I'm going to select photos. And let's put us on the Stanley Park seawall. Let's get rid of the Coliseum. I'm going to size this so that we've got maximum seawall. And once again, send to back. There we are, enjoying a nice walk. Whoops, there we go. Enjoying a nice walk on the seawall. Now let's put us somewhere like the US Capitol. I mean, some kind of tourist destination that would be instantly recognizable. Well, I mean, we had that with the Coliseum, but let's just try another one. I've actually been to this location in person. What I don't want to do here is cut off that statue or monument at the top of the US Capitol. Apologies, I'm not sure what that is right now, but I have fit it into my YouTube thumbnail frame canvas and there we are. Oops. Now again, I can put us down here or if I want, we can go much smaller. Whatever I want to do. That's going to make a little more sense. Now, let's say we want to put ourselves in front of some kind of a space themed background. Let's say I'm Tim Stevenson from Science 360. What kind of shots can we get of the moon or from the moon? What if I type on the moon? There we go. How about Las Vegas? Let's try, and I have no idea if this will work. Let's try the Bellagio. There it is. This is too fun. Seriously. Too fun. Oh, there's so many good pictures of the Bellagio. Oh my goodness. OK, 
Okay, I guess that should be no surprise. I love how it pops into place. I mean, this kind of makes sense because we were in Vegas not too long ago for Andrew's 40th party, 40th birthday party. Now let's try video, something moving behind us. So, oh, let's stick with the Bellagio actually. And can we do, oh, now we've got some city. So I'm going to go with the Bellagio Fountains. Is this the right hotel in Vegas? Okay. There we go. Oops. You gotta be careful that you're grabbing the right object here. Okay. There we are in, in uh, Las Vegas, enjoying the fountains in front of the Bellagio. It was a great trip. We really enjoyed it. And if you want, of course, you can save that as a GIF. So you can even make that highly shareable by uh, saving it as a short GIF. Maybe lower the quality, depending on where you want to share it. You could change this down to three seconds, something like that. And save it, as I said, as a GIF. One more, let's think about the school setting and let's put the two of us in a gymnasium. Let's say that we are physical education experts. Gumnasium. Good job, Tim. Gymnasium. <laughs> We don't want videos anymore. We want photos. There we are. Is that a realistic looking gymnasium? Not bad. There you have it, Teachers on Fire. It doesn't get any easier to remove the background from images. You do not need a green screen. And with the amazing Canva image stock library and video library, you can put yourself and your friends or your colleagues or your students in front of just about any background that you can imagine. It's all there in Canva for education for free. I hope this video is helpful. If it was, give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more like this. Teachers, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, take care. Share an encouraging message to lift up a colleague and keep your own fire for learning burning bright. Bye-bye.